Boy must have lived right. I know we don't call that a pass. <laughs> Lemonade. Just one, one thing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look better than that pigeon melon, them old man farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real challenge. Yeah, it's a real love. Give me some lights. Now, I've never said this before. But right now, I'm ashamed of you guys. I made a mistake thinking I had Nisa men here. Maybe I should have told you all what to do. How to act. How to conduct yourselves. You got something to say, Shaq? You set the ground rules for this meeting, Coach. We were supposed to be able to say what we thought. Does that still go? I said it, and it still goes. All right, Coach, then why is it that when you're black, get back? When you're brown, stick around. When you're white, you're right. Yeah. Now, what's yeah. that supposed to do, Coach? That means that the only thing that this kid's got going for him is that he's a white boy. Yeah. 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 Ground rules are... We're supposed to talk sense, not talk trash. It's not just trash, Coach. There's a hundred black kids that would like to play here. But one of them won't because of this white dude. Where have you been, Slick? This is 1968. The integration program has begun. Black kids on scholarships are going to white colleges all over the South. And the river don't flow one way. Now, you all got to wake up. This program can be good for everybody. Open up your minds. Think about it. All I can think about, Coach, is that that one black kid that's going to miss out could have been me. How many of you all want to play pro ball? All right. Now, who do you think owns those teams? Who do you think plays on them? If you can't get along with one white boy here at Grambling, how are you going to get along with them on the Rams, on the Jets, on the Cowboys? What you all going to do? Hide in a locker? Because some of us heard that the only reason why this boy is coming is so the school can get more funding from the government. That's right. That's part of it. We have all struggled with the meager facilities here at Grambling. God knows there are days when I've had it up to here. Five miles down the road at White Louisiana Tech, they want for nothing, for nothing. Now, I welcome the funding. It will help our program, if we can get it. Then why are you giving us that line about integration? Because we are part of it. We are part of all that has been going on in this country since 1954. Y'all think about it. Think about it. Why this guy got to be a football player? Because yeah. yeah. you guys set the standards here. And if you will accept James Gregory, the rest of the students will follow, and we can get our program off to a good start. Coach. Are you saying we got to hang out with this white boy? No way. All I'm saying simply is that I have 100 men on this team, and James Gregory is going to be one of them. He isn't going to be treated any better, but he isn't going to be treated any worse. Now, you all don't have to love him, but you do have to give him a fair and an equal shot. And I don't think that's asking too much. All right? Now, this meeting is over. You all get a good sleep tonight, because you're going to need it tomorrow. Ah, uh, J.J. Slick, power. You all see me in my office after lunch. Yeah, but... It's 9 o'clock on a sunny day here in Fresno. Temperature outside is a pleasant 72. Don't forget, this is the big weekend. 20 of your favorite stock car drivers will be coming into Fresno this weekend only, and we've got plenty of tickets to give away. You know, this morning... The old man pulled me aside and told me he'd be back after one year. He's incredible. I keep telling him Grambling has as good a football program as anybody. Well, it's not the program that bothers him. Jim, you know you're going to be the only white face in the whole Southwestern Athletic Conference? Come on, Chris. We played with black guys all through high school. They don't scare me. Yeah, for sure. But this school is all black. The town is all black, Jim. I'm sorry. I just don't think I can handle it. Well, I can. Besides, the only thing I've ever wanted to do is to play pro ball, and this is my big chance. Look, Eddie Robinson is one of the best coaches in the country. Grambling has put more guys into the NFL than any other school, except Notre Dame. Look at them all. Willie Brown, Buck Buchanan, Ernie Ladd, Willie Davis, and the list goes on. 
Well, Arizona Tech had a lot of guys in the NFL, too. And they even offered you a scholarship. Yeah, but Grambling offered me a full scholarship. Look, it's decided. I'm going. Wait till my name is splashed all across the sports pages, being interviewed on TV. Then Dan will be telling everybody that it was his idea that I go to Grambling. Man, you're going to kick some butts. <laughs> I sure will. This is Jim. I'm not going 2,000 miles to sit on anybody's bench. Come in. Now get that over the accounting office. They've got to get those out by Thursday. Right. And I'll take care of the rest later. You want to see us, Coach? Yes. I want you men to know that I heard you loud and clear at the meeting this morning. We didn't mean any disrespect, Coach. No, that's okay. I got no problem. That's not what this meeting's about. I need your help. I've always been able to depend on you, man, all through the years. Not only that, you have a great sense of what Grambling's all about. So for those reasons, James Gregory's gonna be your roommate till school starts. You have a problem with that? Coach, I ain't never slept with no white folks before. And he's probably never slept with any black ones. Now that makes you all start out even. How about it? I'm willing to give it a try. Now, that's what Grambling's all about. You guys can take it from here. Eddie, you know this isn't going to be easy. How do you know that boy can make it down here? I don't. It has to be a first time, and he's it. I tell you, Don, I want this thing to work. I really want it to work. But it won't mean a thing if he doesn't go through the four years and graduate. But that's a heavy load to hang on one boy. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'll drive over to the Sport and pick him up at the airport. No, 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 no. You let him take the bus like everybody else. We're not gonna baby him. That'd be the worst thing in the world to do. Coach Robinson's office is? Thanks. He must be lost. What are you doing here? Come on. Hey, it's slick, man. Did Coach integrate your room? <laughs> yeah. Coach said, uh, since we're the most civilized, the white boy ought to stay with us. <laughs> yeah, well, you better get used to saying yes, sir, and no, sir, and can I shine your shoe, sir? Because Whitey likes to look good. <laughs> he may look good, but he ain't gonna play. Not with Shaq and Holmes in front of him. He doesn't even look that good. Coach said he was a good ball player. Yeah, Coach is just selling you a bill of goods, man. Didn't you listen to what he said? He said the school needs money. That's why that boy's down here. Forget the money. We got a good thing here. It's our thing, not theirs. Yeah, it used to be our thing, but once white boy comes in, he takes over everything he touches. Coach wouldn't do nothing to hurt the team, man. Country boys don't know nothing from nothing. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what I meant. White boy takes over everything he can. Coach Robinson? <laughs> Welcome to Grambling, James. Pleased to meet you, sir. It's nice to have you here. How's your trip? Well, I'm a little tired. First time on a plane. <laughs> Looks like a lot of firsts for you. Yes, sir. Been around campus? No, I haven't. How about stadium? Get a chance to see that? Um, yes, I saw it. Well, it's not much on looks, but then again, football games aren't one on looks, huh? Well, I can tell from the trophy case. <laughs> Get a chance to study the playbook. 
All week and I'm ready to play. Well, good. You're gonna start drills tomorrow, so you best get yourself a good night's sleep. It's good to have you here. Well, thank you, sir. Good. Gregory. You mean you're not the guy with the pizzas? No. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? This here is the California Flash. He don't eat no pizzas. He eats tacos. I'm Matthew George. They call me Slick. This here is Pow Wow Samuels, John Jameson. JJ's the best receiver in the country. This here is Anthony Collins. We call him the Sandman. <laughs> These guys are Rhino and Slob. Uh, who's who? Hey, boy. Do I look like a slob? Come on, Rhino. Come on, take it easy, man. He probably didn't know what he was saying. Oh, yeah. This is Shaq, James Harris, the best quarterback in these United States. I hear you're going to take my job away. Hey, I'm only a freshman. Oh, I see. If you were a sophomore, things would be different. I didn't mean it that way. Guess old Shaq can take it easy, huh? Hey, give the dude a break, man. He just got here. I got just one question. We've all been talking. We want to know what the hell you doing here? Well, I was recruited. Yeah, but why would a white hotshot from California come all this way to play for a little old black school? Well, why do you think I'm here? I think you out of your mind. Come on, Hollywood. How come you didn't go to USC or one of those other schools out there? Well, the assistant coach at my high school uh, went to Grambling. His name was Ernie Coolidge. Um, he talked to Coach Robinson. I got an offer. The way I look at it, if you want to play pro ball, this is the place to be. You gotta hit the books here. This joint ain't no football factory. Yes, Lord. The coach don't fool around about that. He wants all his boys to graduate. Just how good a quarterback are you anyway? Well, I think I'm pretty good. How fast you run the 40? 4-9. I'll go 4-8. You chasing me? I'd go 4-7. How many TDs you throw last year? Uh, 16. I'm a scrambler. Gained over 100 yards a couple of times. What are those double threat dudes, huh? I guess we'll see your stuff tomorrow. Let's eat. Rhino, you still got the key to the cafeteria? <laughs> 